Well, here we are. Looks like we might get off this lovely arc in the next couple of days. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. It's... I don't know what's outside. I don't know what the new normal's going to look like. And we've been in this thing an awful long time. I think... God's got a weird sense of humour. But... Noah's a good man and he's always said his prayers and talked to God and tried the best he can to lead a good life. And his sons are good men too, that's why I married one of them. But even so, when they said about this, what sounded like a damn fool idea, and then of course there was building the thing, and uh, everything else had to carry on regardless. So, of course, the brunt of that fell on us women, as it always does. And then suddenly it all made sense. And coming in here and staying put was absolutely the right thing to do. And mind you, when all the animals get started showing up, I didn't quite know what to make of that but they did show up in their pairs and in their pairs and in their pairs and trotted on board or wriggled on board or whatever it is that particular animal does and I don't quite know how we've all fitted in but we have but that's not to say it's been luxury we had to sort of scrabble and scrape around to get everything we needed before the door was shut uh, but we've made it. We've made it. And uh, when that door was locked down, it felt very final. And I don't know, I've spent an awful lot of time thinking about all my friends and family who aren't on this arc. This is Shem's family, not mine. And I just, I don't know what's happened to them. But here we are. You've got to make the best of what you're, what you're given, haven't you? The Lord will provide and at least you give us a bit of warning. And we haven't been short of things to do. There's been a lot of sorting out to do and sorting the animals out and dealing with the feeding of them all and just there's you wouldn't believe how much there is to do on board an ark but every morning I've made sure I've made a bit of time to get outside and get a bit of fresh air into my lungs and have a little wander around on the deck stretch my legs clear my head have a little break from the other creatures on board human and not um of course, not when it was raining. <laughs> and by golly, didn't it rain for a long while? 40 days and 40 nights, just like himself said it would. And yeah, we were bobbing along as we ought to have been at that time when the rains eventually flooded everywhere. And listening to the scrabbling and the cries of the people suffering outside was heartbreaking and I'll never forget it. But we bobbed our way along and after the 40 days and the 40 nights it did stop eventually and Noah was a little bit optimistic sending that dove out to when he did to have a look for somewhere to perch but obviously the next one did come back with that little olive branch and I think none of us have ever been so pleased to see a little scrap of green. There is nothing fresh or green or new on this boat 
Not at all. It's all grimy and smelly and old. And so we then had another long while to wait until the water's properly went down and everything's dried out and isn't just a festering bog. So, I mean, that must, that's about two months. We've had two moons of just waiting. Um, plus, of course, all the rain time. So, it has been a long time. Of course, when we got on, we didn't know whether it would be a week. Well, we knew, no, I reckon he knew how long it would rain, but you never know what's going to happen after that initial thing. Um, so, I guess it could have been... Could have been longer, but here we are, waiting for the door to open and for the new life to begin. I mean, I expect the animals will just trot off and happily do what animals do, but I'm not entirely sure what we're going to find and how we're going to find a new life and find a new life which is lacking the mistakes that people made before how can we how can we make a, a better normal I think we haven't got a bad lot of people to do it with and I'm glad I'm with them we all get on well enough and we'll all get on even better when we haven't got to be stuck inside an ark with each other the whole time. <laughs> but it's brought us closer together and I mean, who else is there now? It's, it's just us really. So we'll have to do the best we can. We're only human but God loves us and God is good and this is what God's charged us to do. So... Hopefully, it'll give us the strength and the nerves to get on with it and get it sorted out and have a new beginning. <laughs>